Whenever we try to make any decision about what's right or wrong, good or bad, we're using one of four kinds of thinking. Now these aren't theories. We aren't, we, it isn't because we've read Immanuel Kant or John Stuart Mill or something like that. It's just what we're brought up with. And, and what we find is people all over the world will use these ways of thinking. It's just that some cultures will prefer one way or another way more than others. But all over the world you find these four ways of thinking. And the first one is just truth. Like, what is really going on? What's the context? Okay. Um, are there any laws? If you're in a company, what are our company policies or rules? If you're in a profession, what is your professional code of conduct? Just the background information. So basically what's going on. Secondly is consequences. Of the various options we have for acting in a situation, um, who's affected by those possible actions and how? And then comparing those possible actions, which one provides the best consequences for people and which would provide the worst consequences? That's a way of deciding what should we do. So when you say, say things like, well, what would, what's the bottom line? You're looking at consequences, right? Okay. Or if you do a, like a cost-benefit analysis, that's looking at consequences. That's a natural way we have of thinking. Third way of thinking is in terms of fairness. How would I feel if somebody did that to me? You're putting yourself in the other person's position. This is just the golden rule, right? And we find the golden rule expressed in every single culture in the world has some version of the golden rule. Okay. Thank you. What age were you when you first learned how to think in terms of the golden rule? Three. Right. Yeah. What, what age did you tell your kids? How would you feel if, if, if Mary did that to you? I mean, you say that, you say that to your kid. Okay. And consequence, the same thing. Did you really think what would happen if you did that? <laughs> you think ahead about this at all, right? Is that true? I mean, true, the fairness and consequences. We, we start teaching this to our kids, we were taught it as kids. Okay? So by the time we're, we're the age we are now, right, we've been using this kind of thinking, all these ways of thinking, on a daily basis for years and years and years. We're really good at it. And the final way of thinking is character. These are just, instead of thinking about just the action, you think about the character traits. Right? That, that inform the action. So, is somebody being rude, or generous, or kind, or courageous, or cowardly? Right? This is where we evaluate the person. Now, now, that's a different way of thinking about something than if you say, is that the right thing to do? You're saying, well, is that a good way of acting? These are just different ways of thinking about something. But you can approach almost any problem from any one of these four directions. Most of the ethical conflicts that we get into, when we have a disagreement with somebody, they're caused because we're using different ways of, the, of thinking without knowing it. So we're so good, we've learned these ways of thinking so well, we've been doing it on a daily basis since we were about three years old, that it's as natural to us as breathing. So when you get into a disagreement with somebody, what you automatically do is you start thinking, subconsciously. You aren't thinking about this consciously, just subconsciously. What works best for the conclusion I want to reach? And if thinking about consequences works best for your conclusion, that's what you're going to use. If the other person's fairness is working best, that's what they're going to use. And pretty soon you're talking like this. Because if I'm, if I'm arguing you, Mike, if I'm arguing with you about the consequences of something, and you're coming back about how it wouldn't be fair, what I'm thinking is, you're not even paying attention to what I'm saying, right? Because you're not responding to what I'm saying about the bad consequences of that decision. And if you're telling me about fairness, and I'm not responding to that, you're thinking, I either don't understand what you're saying, or I don't care, I'm unethical, right? Because I'm not recognizing what's really important is the issue of fairness. And sometimes this divides families, it divides co-workers, sometimes it divides whole communities.